All right, we're back here in Forza Motorsports at Daytona, and we are in the GT class here. This guy just did an absolute smash of job. I think he did almost a, uh, yeah, he almost did a 142, so that's pretty quick. But that was obviously on softs, so we'll see how he does on mediums here. We didn't uh, qualify, obviously, but we are back here in the self-promotion mobile uh, with the livery anyways, and we are in the, uh, we're in the Ferrari 488, and we are going to see how well it does around Daytona in the GT3 series. It's been a while since I've raced this, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump to the first race. Excellent. Great start to the race here so far. But it is a long race. We have lots of time. We have other people crash into us. I am on controller, so it is going to be hard to pass through here. Oh, we get through the bottom line there. Oh, shoots. You take the panic road. Oh my god, we have some lapaging the field. Luckily, he didn't completely do it. He just, he ran up on the line. I thought he was going to take some people out, but luckily, he got away with it. No, don't don't break through here. Let off the gas, maybe, yes. Breaking no. God dang it. God dang it, Bobby. We're not doing well right now. Okay, we gotta put our head down here and uh Get it together. Put it in a backpack. Gather it. Get it all together. Y'all come in super hot there. <clears throat> oh, oh. Okay. Mm. Game? Okay then, sure. Sure, game. Ugh. 
up, you dudes. I'm on a controller for once, so. Which is, I'm gonna say, way easier to get good lap times, but I'm really not used to it here. Turned out the racing line for you guys out there that really wanted that. Should give us some room to not have to worry anymore. Because I think we'll start gapping them. Big mistake, apparently. Now we can go through here. Semi full out. I was scared, to be honest. Come on. I definitely gone through there a lot. You a lot better, but it is what it is. We got a good draft on this guy. Well, not really. He's just way slower. There we go. Got a good run out of there. Definitely be going one more lap here, if, even with the little tire wear, we should be okay. We will not be taking the pit stop yet. We want to make sure we have the best tires at the end, not mid-race. I hope we got some people with the grip builds that are- oh my goodness! Too worried about going through there that quickly just because, uh, you know, our tires kind of worn already, so. edge there. There we go. Got a good run through there. Playing a little cautious due to the tire wear. Oh, LePage coming on the field.
Look at those brakes. Well, they work that good for me, you know? It just seems only going to the pit lanes, the brakes work that well. Could you imagine how many people get penalties if this was like uh, iRacing and the pit stops didn't really slow you down? You know, they yeah, yeah, actually they slow down prior to entering the pits. But I digress. It is Forza. Jub, uh, was it? Gran Turismo also does the same thing, I guess. So. Wow, guy in front, almost eight seconds penalty. I would say that was just unfortunate, but I saw him totally knock that one uh, Audi out. So I mean, I know that's not the case. With the last two races, how they've been going, uh, we might be uh, attempting to see how E-Class is at this point. If you'd like to see me drop my safety rating down to E-Class and check out the lower level lobbies, you know, let me know. I obviously would not be tanking my skill rating because that one's a little bit more annoying to get up. Especially one that's the thing, once you get into the lower level lobbies, I feel like it's a catch twenty one where like you're in such low level lobbies that it's just hard to get back up. Well that's terrible to hear, but I feel like it's just really hard to get back up because you're in those lobbies where races normally don't go well people crash into you so you end up like getting booted the back or you have to try to pass someone that's not really letting you through those types of things Three more. so then you kind of get stuck there but I'm willing to risk it to go and check that out. Not gonna rely, that, you know, that fair ride back there looks pretty fun. A little loop. I would love to go to the Daytona, like the 24 hours of Daytona. I think that'd be really fun to do. Maybe next year. Or the 24 hours of Le Mans. That would be awesome in France. I always find the 24 hour race is kind of interesting. And I was really hoping that they'll do. Like in Forza Motorsports, they had a 24 hour Le Mans race. Unlikely that most people would do it. But it'd still be fun to do that in Forza. I mean, I'd be fine hosting a. Endurance series if you guys were interested You know if you guys want to participate I uh, give away some prizes, so It'd be multi-class like you know normal endurance races are Oh god. We missed our breaking point. Wait, oh god. Totally was uh just absent minded. There. It is early in the morning. It is 4 a.m. here. Got woken up by some uh loud neighbors. So I just, just run a race instead. Oh. Oh, that Vale guy is going to go for the uh, no stop there. Interesting strat.
Definitely a valid one if you can pull it off. We do have to close the gap a little bit on this guy. We need to be in within 3.8 from him. Otherwise, we don't get that position. Use our own silly, silly penalty that I believe this game is a little broken because of. Remember, we got a break here. Yep, there. Yeah, this time is a little too early, but you know. We made it through without any issues here. Maybe we'll make a, uh, we'll get a couple places back if people in the back here decide to do some boldened, uh, last lap strats of trying to pass through the chicane or something. Looks like we did not get that lucky. No, uh, no one going forth through the chicane on the last lap. Nope, oh, well. Wow, okay, no penalty? Sure, I'll take it. I feel like I should have gotten a penalty. Like, that one I would have been, like, totally okay with, but... Look at that. Bale did end up getting the win there with, uh... Hard tire strat. Let's see, but how much did he end up beating out the leader by? So yeah, he was able to hold on to that pretty easily. Even though Zims was well, Zims was quick in qualifying. Good run out there. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next race. Have a great day.